Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, interesting uh, triangle ABC, as you can see in this given uh, diagram, such that uh, its side length uh, AB is being represented by 3x minus 5. Side length uh, BC is being represented by 3x minus 4. And finally, this side AC is uh, 3x minus 3. And moreover, this angle uh, ABC is uh, 120 degrees and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC and likewise we are going to calculate the perimeter of this uh, triangle ABC as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we could calculate the area and the perimeter of this given triangle, we must find the value of uh, x first. And now let's recall the law of cosines for this uh, triangle uh, ABC, whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase a, lowercase b, and lowercase c. Likewise, uh, their angles are alpha, beta, and gamma respectively. Then we are going to have these uh, three corresponding uh, law of cosines. We are going to apply these law of cosines on uh, this uh, triangle ABC. For this uh, angle, 120 degrees, uh, our opposite side is going to be this 3x uh, minus 3. So therefore, we can write the law of cosine over here as uh, 3x uh, minus 3 whole square is going to be equal to 3x minus 4 whole square plus likewise 3x minus 5 whole square minus 2 times 3x minus 4 times 3x minus 5 times uh, cosine of our this uh, angle 120 degrees and now we can see cosine of 120 degrees is uh, negative 1 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this cosine of 120 degrees by negative 1 divided by 2 over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted uh, for this uh, cosine of 120 degrees as uh, negative 1 divided by 2 over here. And now let's make an observation. We can see negative 2 times negative 1 divided by 2. If we multiply, that is going to give us uh, positive 1. As you can see in this uh, next step, now let's recall this famous identity. A minus B whole square could be written as A square minus 2AB plus B square. We are going to apply this identity on this binomial, this binomial, and likewise this binomial as well. So let's take care of this uh, left hand side that is going to give us uh, 9x square minus uh, 18x uh, plus 9 is going to be equal to, if we expand this binomial, that is going to give us uh, 9x uh, square minus uh, 24 x uh, plus 16 plus likewise uh, if we take care of this one that is going to give us uh, 9x uh, square minus uh, 30x uh, plus uh, 25 plus and now we are going to multiply these uh, binomials by double uh, distribution so that is going to give us uh, 9x uh, square minus uh, 15 x uh, minus uh, 12 x uh, and finally plus uh, 20 and now we are going to combine the like terms uh, on the right hand side as you can see in this uh, next step now i'm going to move uh, everything uh, on the other side so therefore we are going to have uh, 27 x uh, square minus 81 x uh, plus uh, 61 and that is going to give us negative 9 uh, x square plus uh, 18 x uh, minus uh, 9 is equal to 0 and if we combine these uh, like terms uh, we are going to get uh, 18 x square minus uh, 63 x plus 52 equal to 0 
So thus we are ended up with this uh, quadrat equation uh, 18x square minus 63x uh, plus 52 equal to 0 and we are going to solve this quadrat equation for x uh, by grouping uh, and factoring. You may use the quadratic formula to solve this given uh, quadrat equation as well. And now let's focus on these uh, two constants uh, on both uh, sides. This 18 the coefficient and this 52 the constant on the right hand side. So we are going to multiply these ones. So we are going to have 18 times 52. And now we can see 18 could be broken down to 6 times 3. And likewise 52 could be broken down to 13 times 4. As you can see in this next step. And now we can multiply 6 times 4. That is going to give us... 24 and then if we multiply 3 times uh, 13 that is going to give us uh, 39 and finally if we add these uh, two numbers uh, we can see 24 plus 39 is going to give us uh, 63 and we can see we got uh, 63 in the middle so therefore we can tweak this uh, middle term negative 63x we can write this one as uh, negative uh, 24x minus 39x as you can see over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see between first these two terms 6x is in common and between last two terms we can see negative 13 is in common so therefore we factor out 6x from here we got 3x minus and here I'm going to factor out negative 13 so we got uh, 3x uh, minus 4 equal to 0 and here we can see 3x minus 4 and 3x minus 4 they are in common so therefore we can write uh, 3x uh, minus 4 times uh, 6x uh, minus uh, 13 turns out to be equal to 0 now we are going to separate these uh, two factors as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore for this first equation our x value turns out to be 4 divided by 3 and for this uh, second equation our x value is uh, 13 divided by 6 and now let's make an observation we can see x equal to 4 divided by 3 value is not possible if we substitute that x value over here so that is going to give us uh, 3 times 4 divided by 3 minus 5 so that's going to give us 4 minus 5 that is going to be negative 1 and we can see that this side length cannot be a negative value so therefore we are going to reject this uh, x value as 4 divided by 3 and we are going to accept uh, x equals to 13 uh, divided by 6 value so thus our x value turns out to be 13 divided by 6. If we substitute uh, this x value over here that's going to give us 3 times uh, 13 divided by 6 uh, minus uh, 5 and that is going to give us 13 uh, divided by 2 minus uh, 5 and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 3 divided by 2 and likewise if we substitute this x value over here so 3 times uh, 13 divided by 6 uh, minus 4 so that's going to give us 13 divided by 2 minus 4 that is going to give us uh, 5 uh, divided by 2 value and finally we are going to substitute x value over here as well so that is going to give us uh, 3 times uh, 13 divided by 6 uh, minus 3 so we got uh, 13 divided by 2 minus uh, 3 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 7 divided by 2 so thus our side lengths uh, turn out to be 3 divided by 2 5 divided by 2 and uh, 7 divided by 2 respectively and now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this triangle ABC we know the perimeter is simply the sum of all uh, these uh, side lengths of this uh, triangle so let's go ahead and add these uh, side lengths uh, 3 divided by 2 plus uh, 5 uh, divided by 2 plus uh, finally 7 uh, divided by 2 and we can see our common denominator is 2 and if we add this one 3 plus 5 uh, 
plus 7 and that is going to be equal to 7.5 units. So thus the perimeter of this triangle ABC turns out to be 7.5 units. And here's our final step and we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC as well. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle uh, C. As you can see in this triangle, our two side lengths are uh, A and B and C is the angle in between. And here in our case, uh, our two side lengths are uh, 3 divided by 2 and uh, 5 divided by 2 and the angle between them is uh, 120 degrees. So therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half uh, times our side length uh, 3 divided by 2 times uh, 5 uh, divided by 2 times uh, sine of uh, 120 degrees. And now if we look at these uh, fractions, if we multiply that is going to give us uh, 15 divided by 8 as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see sine of 120 degrees uh, equal to square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to substitute uh, that value over here as you can see in this uh, next step and if we simplify and multiply the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 15 times uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 16 uh, square units so thus the perimeter of this triangle ABC turns out to be 7.5 units and likewise the area of this uh, triangle ABC is uh, 15 times square root of 3 divided by 16 uh, square units and this area is going to be approximately equal to 1.624 square units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.